All right, hey guys, so we're back with Giant Machines 2017, and I think we're on the very last mission. So let's go ahead and make our way over to the objective. We need to open the gate. Oops, turn on. <laughs> I always forget to turn on the engine. You know something kind of odd? In almost every video game, you don't have to turn on the engine. They really should, like, <laughs> they really should add a feature like in Battlefield and Halo and such where you actually have to turn on the vehicle. <laughs> Everything's always like automatic. Are you ready? I think at the end of this mission we're going to be launching the space shuttle. And there it is, there's the space shuttle we created that we worked up all this way to accomplish. Why did it spawn me? That's something that's kind of strange to me. Why did it spawn me across the map? Why didn't it just spawn me over on that side? It just wants me to drive this little this little tow cart. Oh well. So far away. It's like a little golf cart. NASA. NASA. Are you ready? Are you ready? Open the gate. What is that? I think we have to transport the rocket to the launch site. Get the crawler transporter ready for work by turning all the fuses on. It'll prevent the platform from being damaged due to high hydraulic pressure. Oh my god. Look at how big that thing is. That is huge! That is the biggest machine I've ever seen! Alright, anyways, let's uh, go up there. Oh, we know where the staircases are. Okay, so we have to go up here, and then we have to... What the heck? Freaking gnat fly in my face? Alright, <laughs> sorry. Um, what in the world? What are we doing here? We're setting the fuses? I don't I don't understand. This is a puzzle. Alright, I'm not really understanding Oh there we go. <laughs> Sit behind the wheel of this Colossus and start the engines. I wonder if this is the biggest vehicle like in the world. Like this is massive. This is absolutely massive. Destination VAB. Park inside the building under the launch platform. Remember to control the pressure level from time to time if you want to avoid having to set the fuses all over. <laughs> Uh, where are the controls? Throttle is left stick. Oh, oh, we just moved this little joystick. Okay, so there's no like gas pedal in this uh, machine. You're just moving this little joystick, and it controls where we're going. Let's change the radio. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> I gotta take a screenshot, hold on. Hmm. 
This is just awesome. Just take a few more screenshots. This thing is insane. This is basically like, could you imagine like building like a base on top of this thing and just have it like slowly move like across the United States? <laughs> That'd be awesome. You could probably build like a skyscraper on top of this thing and make it a portable skyscraper. Could you imagine? It'd be amazing. I really like the water in this game. It looks really nice. So it's definitely going to take me a long time to get to the space shuttle. Like, we're going at, like, 10 kilometers an hour. Which is probably, like, what, like, 5 miles per hour? Oh, look at those exhaust pipes. Oh, wow. Gotta release that pressure. I should actually take a picture of this and send it to my friend. He would he'd probably like, the, like seeing this. <laughs> I'm gonna like send him a text message and just be like, look what I'm driving. Alright, let's change that music. Bye bye 2010. Yeah, let's listen to this one again. We listened to this in the last episode, but it's a really good song for uh for what we're doing. Alright, so I actually have to back this thing up. Oh man, this this thing takes a long time to start moving. Oh, and I think we're gonna have to carry the rocket down this path onto the launch site. Makes sense. It's weird because we're controlling this thing through a joystick instead of a steering wheel. Um, that joystick there controls everything. I love the little radar dish, that's cool. Do you know what would be awesome? To have a radar dish that spins around in circles and put that on my desk or on top of my computer? That'd be so cool. Someone needs to invent that. And then they need to give me a dollar for giving them that idea. <laughs> And send me a free copy. <laughs> I, you know, it'd be awesome to have a little like spinning satellite dish on like on top of your computer. That'd be so cool. Especially, especially with like my computer, like a gaming, a gaming computer. I'll have to look on eBay if there's something like that, like a, a little mini satellite dish, or maybe just. Having like a uh, like a mini model uh, space shuttle that'd be really cool too. Although I'm sure those are super freaking expensive. I wouldn't even want to look to see the price on that. <laughs> you know what? There's four exhausts on this crazy contraption: two in the front and two in the back. 
and they switch whenever you're going backwards or forwards. Alright, finally. Well done for a rookie. Now, lift the platform all the way up so we can dock the launch pad. Lift the platform all the way up so we can dock the launch pad. Alright. Platform up is left trigger. We're moving. Oh wait, we have to move. Hold on. Rear platform up. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Try not to break that thing. Right now, you're transporting a fully equipped shuttle, weighing about 1,300 tons. Tread carefully on your way to the crawler way. That's cool. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. I think we just have to go slow. Or actually, I have no idea why that happened. This this is the biggest, <laughs> the largest vehicle ever. I wish I could zoom out a little bit. I want to get like a, a shot of the entire thing. There's a barricade. I wonder if that's going to slow us down. Maybe if I turn... Uh oh. Alright, so this is going to be the tricky part. We have to actually get our treads on this... Whatever this thing is. This little ramp. I don't know why this ramp is here. Why would you put a ramp right here? That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I mean, I guess I could take a left and then maybe, but... Alright, that's... I need to do... I need to change the angle. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Okay. No. Let me go this way. Oh, no, 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 no! No. I don't know how that even happened. I guess if you go reverse and then you go forward, bad things happen. I don't know why that's happening. I think I think you have to go like a slow start. Like you have to slowly accelerate. There we go. You just have to slowly accelerate, otherwise like the physics will push it off. Oh, this is gonna take at least like five to ten minutes to get over there at this speed. We can, we're only going five miles per hour. Picture of this. This really is a great game. It's 
Especially if you're like an engineer going into this field. Yeah, let's change the music. What? What the hell just happened? Did you see that? The entire platform just bounced in the air. Oh god. Oh man. I don't even know what I did wrong there. Let's try this again. You know, like in real life, I think they would bolt down like the spaceship, they would tie down the spaceship to this platform, they would not just let it fall over on its own. I think we must have like ran over one of those barricades and that bounced us up. Alright, I guess I'm just going to play it like this since uh I have like full view of what's going on. Alright, here's the tricky part. We have to actually line this up perfectly. All right, perfect. Nice, we're doing it. We're doing it. No. No. No! No! No, 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 no. I was even trying to drive backwards to counteract the weight. Oh, I give up. Alright, so on the bottom right corner, it does show the shuttle tilt. I wonder if I should just go around. Like, screw that. <laughs> like, I think we could actually do that. Just go around the ramp instead of going over it. We'll try going, like, through the ramp one more time. I just had to make this super challenging. I thought I was doing so good, and then all of a sudden there was random tilt, and there was nothing I could really do about it. Maybe I'm just supposed to, like, floor it. That's all I can think of, like, staying still doesn't do anything. Like, if you stop, nothing happens. Like, it'll still tilt. If you go backwards, it'll still tilt. Drive along the crawler way. <sighs> I 
See, the tilt is going up. See, we're at negative one now. We need to keep going, like, as fast as we can. It's the only way. We need to hurry. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. There's no freaking way. I don't get it. Hey, hey, try not to break that thing. Right now, you're transporting a fully. Oh, you know what? I think we're just supposed to go slow. Maybe we're just supposed to drive like super slow during that part. Uh, oh, sorry guys. I know this is really like boring to watch. And trust me, it's boring for me too. If this doesn't work, I'm just gonna go around. I'm not gonna deal with this stupid ramp if it doesn't work. Third time's a charm. Or is this the fourth time? Or is this the fifth time? <laughs> Ten times a charm. Okay, once we get on the ramp, we're gonna slow down. Alright, well, I don't really understand this, but I guess I'm just going to go slow. I still feel like it's gonna tilt. Like, the tilt is still going up. It's gonna keep going up. It's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. It's falling. All right, you know what? Oh, oh. Are you kidding me? I know how to do this. I cannot believe I'm such an idiot. All right. So, I forgot that you can move the platforms up and down. So, like, front platform up, back, black, back platform up. So, that's how we do it. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Alright, sorry for wasting the last, like, 15 minutes of your time, guys. Now we'll do it for sure. I didn't know that we're, we would have to move the platform up and down like that. I thought that was just to hook it on to, like, attach it to the machine. But 
Got it. We're, we actually have to use that to control the tilt. Now everything makes sense. I thought the game was broken. I gotta tilt down the back, and then I gotta lift up the uh, other side. Oh crap. Nope. No, no, no! <laughs> Alright, so I'll get this one of these times. I mean, I probably should edit all this out. And I'm kind of thinking about doing that. Um, if we don't get it on this next time, I'll probably edit out all these mess ups. All right, so since the back is so like top heavy, I'm just gonna go ahead and start by lifting up the back a little bit. Back heavier, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Oh, now it's tilting forward. It really doesn't give you like any time at all to fix your mistake. This is definitely the hardest, uh, mission. Alright, here we go. So this time I'm going to do it really slowly. It's working, it's working. I'm just slowly lifting it up as I travel across this thing. There we go. So this is what we were supposed to be doing all this entire time. Alright, now we're now we're fine. And then I'm gonna have to lower it when we get up here.
No, no, no! I lowered it all the way! God damn it, fucking piece of shit, motherfucking uncle! Oh, <laughs> I'm seriously getting sick and tired of this stupid ass mission. Screw you, screw you, I don't care, I quit, I quit! I was doing so well, like so freaking well. I was like halfway across. I'm not even sure what happened at that point. Like, all of a sudden it just started tilting forward. Even even though I lowered the platform down, it just started tilting way too far forward. I should have lifted the front end up, but it was just too late. I sort of panicked. I should have, yeah, I, I could have easily just lifted the front end up, but I was trying to, I was trying to lift the back end down, which, I don't know, I guess that didn't work. Maybe I'm supposed to lift the front end up when we get all the way across. Like, when we get to the mid part, maybe I'm supposed to lift the, the back end up a little bit. Oops. No, 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 no! Man, it, it knocks over so easily. Like, you have no chance. Like, once it starts to tilt, it's over. Like, you're done. Oh, this is, this video is over half an hour already. It's just been me messing up over and over and over again. It's so freaking annoying, man. Like, you have no idea how hard this is. Like you see the shuttle tilt in the top, in the bottom right corner, and it says like 0.1 percent. If that goes up to f like three or four percent, it's over. Like there's no coming back. Like you're screwed. And the thing is, it can go up to three to four percent in like an instant without you even being aware it's just I don't even know what I did wrong that time I can't believe this is so hard. It, it looks like it's the easiest thing in the world, but it's not. Oops. Um, back, back up. Oh, back too far up. Like you have to just do it in like very small increments. I, mean, I guess I can go slow. Nope, nope, lower it, lower it, lower it, lower it! No! No! It's weird! God damn it. It's weird because for some reason your momentum, like, of you driving, 
somehow plays a part in the, like, tilt. And I mean, I know that makes sense that it should, but, like, how do you calculate that? Like, if I slow down, for some reason the tilt increases, so I have to drive at, like, a constant pace, otherwise... I don't... What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't even know how that happened. So you literally have to drive at full speed. Like, if you slow down, you're done. <laughs> Especially on the ramp. So, what I have to do is I have to lift up the back very slowly, like in increments. And then when I get to the middle part, I have to start slowly lifting up the, the front half. And then when I go downhill, I need to slowly start lowering the back half. And then when we get back on the ground, I need to slowly start lowering the front half again. It's going to be super confusing and I'm probably going to mess up again. You have to be, like, a genius to pull this off. <laughs> Alright, so here's the order. Slowly lift up the back, and then slowly lift up the front, and then slowly pull down the back, and then slowly pull down the front. Without losing speed. I can't lose any speed at all. Okay, slowly lifting up the back. Okay, once I get to the flat section, which is coming up soon, I need to slowly start lifting up the, uh, the front end. Alright, now here's the problem. Now when we're here, now I need to lower the back end when we go down. Oh, I'm doing it. Okay. Lower the back end. Lowering the back end. And... It's wobbling. It's wobbling. Alright, we almost made it, but for some reason, my treads f fell into... Okay, I got it. I'm, I'm getting it. Okay, this is going to take me an hour, but I'm getting it. My treads were, like, misaligned, and that's what threw me off. It's a lot harder than it looks, that's all I can say. I mean, this looks super easy, but it's not. I mean, to think, all, all I have to do is go over those little bitty hills. And then I'm home free. Like, after that, I'm home freaking free. I just have to remember what buttons to press in what order. Like first I need to press left bumper to lift up the back, then I need to press left trigger to lift up the front end, and then I need to press right bumper 
to lower the back end, and then I need to press right trigger to lower the front end. It sounds easy, but it, it gets kind of confusing. Especially when you're driving like this. I, like, I have to drive like this, otherwise I'll mess up. I need to make sure the uh, treads are aligned. Starts to shift. I need to start raising the front. Right, I think we're good. And I need to start lowering the back half in a second. The fuses are blown. Alright, we didn't lose, okay? The fuses are just blown, okay? <laughs> we didn't lose. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, so we have to go reset the fuses. I forgot about the pressure. I was too focused on other things. Fuses are back on. Man, this is like a job for a robot, I swear. Okay. Okay, so since we're stopped, I'm really afraid to start moving again. But, okay, so I need to just keep moving forward. Then I need to start pressing the right bumper. Oops. Nope. I'm screwed. Like, I'm screwed, man. I'm fucking screwed. <sighs> Crap. Hey. I got it this time. I just need to remember to release the pressure. I can't believe I got screwed over by that. Like, when you lose your speed and then you start going again, it throws everything off and then you just get completely confused and there's nothing you can do. I do not want to carry that barricade. It's going to cause me to screw up. Okay. So again, left bumper, then left trigger, then right bumper, then right trigger. Easy peasy, but you have to do it like, you can't just like press the button you have to do it in slow increments and you have to make sure you don't do it too fast or too slow either one and you're screwed and if you lose speed you're done all right here we go Perfect. I need to just wait. And once we get right about here, right about now, 
start pulling up the front. Alright, now we're good. Now we need to start lowering the back end once we start going down. Alright, we're good. Now I need to do the right the right trigger. Whoa, whoa, too much, too much. Oh, I'm I'm freaking out. Alright, I'm all the way down now. I mean, it looks like it looks like the tilt is flattening out. I think we did it. Oh my god, we did it. God. Alright, now it's just home ceiling from here, hopefully. Oh god, man. Oh man. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Anyone watching this, if you watched this from the beginning of this video and you didn't skip through, I apologize for how bad of a driver I am. That was like the hardest thing I've ever done in a simulator. <laughs> Oh man, that took so long. It took like half an hour. That took over half an hour, I think. Oh, pressure level's high. No, we're not having that. If we fail again, I swear, I'm done. We're almost there. Okay, good. We don't have to drive all the way. I thought we had to drive all the way to that. Ain't nobody said it was gonna be easy. There was a... Uh an incident on the observation gantry. We have to do something if we want to use that rope. We're done. Oh god, okay, so there's more missions. That's we're not we're not done yet. Let me just go back to the main menu real quick and see how many more missions are left. Cause that was just oh my god, that was so ridiculously hard and frustrating. There's three- oh my god, there's four more missions. Uh, you know what? I think we've made it far enough in the game to get a general idea of what was happening. I think I'm gonna end my Let's Play here, unless I get a, a bunch of support, unless a lot of you guys in the comments want me to continue playing. I'm just gonna end it here. I think I've experienced enough and Honestly, that last mission, I mean, I feel like that should have been the end of the game. I don't I don't want to play anymore. That should have been the end. They should have blasted the rocket off. I don't want to play the last four missions. I wanted to see the rocket blast off. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this little Let's Play of Giant Machines 2017. Fantastic game. Fantastic simulator. I know I was getting frustrated, but what, what do you expect? It's a, it's a simulator. Um, very realistic simulator and I like the challenge I mean as much as I was frustrated with that last mission that was such a unique and amazing experience like I, I don't even I've never experienced anything like that in any other video game where you have to control the tilt of a freestanding object above your vehicle while you're moving and while you're going on a ramp and then you have to adjust the angle of the platform i mean that was just nuts but again thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed my little series thanks for supporting my channel um, if you haven't already be sure to subscribe be sure to check out this game on steam and yeah thanks for watching stay tuned for some more